Okay, so in this video, we will solve the following linear system in three equations and three variables, x, y, z. As always, the first step is to construct the corresponding augmented matrix. First row, second row, and the third row. The next step is to look at the leftmost column and try to introduce a leading one in the top row. Well, as always, we try to avoid introducing fractions as much as possible. So we could be naive here and multiply row 2 by 1 half. But then we'd have 7 over 2, 11 over 2, and negative 8. There would be two fractions here. And we'd have to carry them along the rest of our reduction. As much as possible, try to introduce try to avoid introducing fractions. Now it may not always be possible, sometimes fractions will crop up and there will be no way around it, but whenever you have a chance, avoid introducing fractions. There are several ways of doing this here. The simplest one, you can think of other ways, is to do row 1 plus row 2, as 2 plus negative 1 becomes positive 1. Let's do this, row 1 plus row 2. A common source of errors is to miscopy rows, as we are only changing the first row. Let us recopy the second and the third row, as we are not changing either one of them. Let us apply the operation, so 2 plus negative 1, positive 1, which becomes our leading 1. 7 plus negative 3, positive 4 negative 16 plus 5, negative 11, 11 plus negative 8, positive 3. As now we have our leading 1 in the leftmost column in the top row. As always, we then kill the entries below it and always do this in one go. So to kill this negative 1, we will do row 2 plus row 1. To kill this positive 3, we will do row 3 minus 3 times of row 1. We are not changing row 1, so we can recopy it. Always recopy the rows you're not changing first. Let's apply the first row operation. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 3 plus 4 positive 1. 5 plus negative 11, negative 6, negative 8, plus 3, negative 5. Let's apply the other row operation. Row 3 minus 3, row 1, so 3 minus 3, 0. 10 minus 3 times 4 minus 12 is negative 2. Negative 20, negative 3 times negative 11 is positive 33. 33 minus 20 is positive 13. 21 minus 3 times 3 minus 9 becomes positive 12. And now we have our leading one in the top row in the leftmost column. We've killed the entries below. So we ignore this row. And we now repeat. We start with the leftmost column and we try to introduce a leading one in the top row. We can't have a leading one here as both are zeros. So we move through the second column from the left. There are two non-zero entries. And the job, as always, is to get a leading one in the top row. Well, we get a free leading one here. Now that we have a leading one in the top row, ignoring, of course, the first row, we kill the entries below. Well, we'll simply do row 3 plus 2, row 2. We are only changing the third row, so we can recopy the first and second. Let's apply the row operation. So 0 plus 0, 0. Negative 2 plus 2, 0. 13 plus 2 times negative 6 is 13 plus 12, which is positive 1. 12 plus 2 times 5 is negative uh, 
times negative 5 is negative 10, 12 minus 10, positive 2. So we have our second leading one with the entries below it, and now again we ignore this row and we repeat. We start with the leftmost column, and we try to introduce a leading one. Well, we can't here and here because both are zero, but here we can, and it already is a leading one, and it already is in the top row, as there is only one row left over. And we kill all the entries below it, but there are none. Since we have reached the bottom row, this is the end of Gaussian elimination. As always, we ask ourselves the question, are there any free variables? Are there variables that don't have leading ones? The answer here is no, we only have three variables, x, y, z. They each one possess a leading one, which implies once again that we have a unique solution. Every time the system has a unique solution, meaning all variables are leading variables, we always use backwards substitution. Well, again, the name gives it away. We start with the very last variable, very last row, and we work our way up. If you look at the bottom row, this leading one will allow us to solve for z. As it says, 0x plus 0y, which is 0, plus 1 times z, so it's just z. The vertical bar, again, replaces the equal sign, so we get z equals 2. Then we have the value for z. Now we work our way up, we can solve for y using its corresponding leading one. And now again we will isolate for y in our head. The equation is 0x, which is 0, plus 1 times y. Now we have here equal negative 5, but on the left of the equal sign there's a negative 6 times z. We're trying to isolate y, so we send a negative 6z onto the other side, which becomes, of course, a positive 6z. But we now have the value of z. It is 2. And so we get negative 5 plus 6 times 2. So we get negative 5 plus 12, which gives us 7. And so now we have the value of y. We go back one more step to get to solve for the value of x. As always, look at the equal sign first, so x equals 3. But there's a 4y on the left-hand side. We want to isolate for x. So if we send 4y onto the right-hand side, it becomes negative 4y. And there's still negative 11z. Well, we're trying to isolate x, so we must send the negative 11z onto the right-hand side, which will become a positive. 11 z. Now we have isolated x as a function of y and z, but we have just found the value of y and the value of z, and so we substitute. 3 minus 4 times y, which is 7, plus 11 times z, which is 2. So what do we have? 3 minus 28 plus 22. Negative 28 plus 22 is negative 6, and so we're left simply with negative 3. And now we're done. We have the value of x, the value of y, the value of z, of course, written backwards. So our final step is to simply rewrite our unique solution in the right order. x is negative 3. y is positive 7. And z is positive 2. And there is our unique solution. x must be negative 3, y must be 7, z must be 2. And if you wanted to check, you could plug those values back in to the original linear system and see that every equation is indeed satisfied. And I will leave this up to you. And that's it.